Louisiana Beer Reviews, Wolfta's Pilsner. This is a 330 milliliter bottle. It's the U.S. Export Long Neck Bottle. If you look on their website, they have uh, <coughs> a whole range of cans and bottles. <coughs> In Germany, their bottles are short neck, squat bottles, and not only that, they're brown. But they make them green for export. I guess they figure Americans expect a green Euro Lager bottle. But in Germany, they have them in brown because they knew about the light struck problem. Uh, anyway, Walter's Pilsner. I bought this at um, Aquista Paces in Covington. It's got the old uh, crest of the House of Brunswick. And it says, Nec Aspera Terent. That means he's never are afraid. And um, Emota Fides are uh, always loyal or immortally loyal. It's got the two lions and the shield and the crown. <clears throat> this is an old company. They say on the website it was started, the brewery was started in the 1600s and then in 1734 the Wolters family took it over. In the 1800s they received the contract to supply beer to the Duke of Brunswick. Brunswick was a separate state until 1946 when it was incorporated into other, a new German state. So it's an old area of Germany. All right. Uh, they said that it's 4.9 for the export market. Now I notice in Germany they have it rated, you know, for the German market, Brunswick and that area of Lower Saxony, they have it rated 5.1. So they change it a little bit for export. Gets an okay score on Beer Advocate. The bros say it's okay, like a C. Only a 14 out of 100 on Rate Beer, 31 out of 100 for the style. If you ever go to New York City, in some parts of New York City, you might see this beer, Valentine, uh, Triple Export, Triple X, Purity Body Flavor, America's Largest Selling Ale. I thought I had a 22 ounce bottle, but I guess I threw it away. It was a similar label. So you can get the tall cans, <clears throat> 12 ounce cans, and the 22 ounce bottles, I've bought it in 32 ounce bottles before. They got 40 ounce bottles. Could be on draft, I don't know. If I do go back to New York City this coming summer of 2015, I would like to root around and get different Valentine uh, configurations. It's uh, bought, it was bought by uh, Pabst. It says Falstaff Brewing, but you know, Falstaff bought Valentine and then Falstaff was bought out by Pabst. And interestingly, they don't even make fall staff beer anymore for the last decade. They still make Valentine. Okay, well that's a, a pale ale. Or some might say it's a cream ale. This is just a straight up Pilsner. Okay. <clears throat> Pretty thick head and a golden appearance. Now they say Miller Light from Miller. Miller Light is a fine Pilsner beer. That's very straw colored. This has a deeper body. It's going to have more calories, 144 calories, and it's going to have a pretty good amount more alcohol. Okay. Well, it looks really nice. Let's go about. Let's go about smelling it. Okay, so when uh, this company was started in the 16, 1700s, it was part of the Holy Roman Empire of the German nation. Then after 1815 and the French under Napoleon were kicked out of Germany, that area, that part of Europe was reconstituted as the German Confederation, and then the German Empire, and today the German Federal Republic. It's a rich, bready, cracker, Euro lager smell, but maybe a little fuller nose than what you would get from a Heineken or a Gulls, which are from the Low Countries, not Central Germany. <clears throat> it's nice. It smells really good. Let's go with the flavor. Oh, and no skunk. Bready cracker bread. Okay like the uh, saltine crackers without the salt, grassy hops, 
a medium body. This is not too, th too thin. A crisp, clean, refreshing, and extremely enjoyable finish. Well, interesting thing about this company, they said they had been bought out by InDev, I think in 2003. But this is the strangest part. They said they didn't like the way InDev was handling their marketing and interfering with their operations or something like that. And so they somehow arranged it where they got released from InBev and became an independent company again. Their family got control of the company after three years, I think in 2006. And they said in, since then they've been able to concentrate on how they want to distribute the beer, independent of InBev. And they, um, they're in North, they go out to North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia. So it's pretty worldwide. Considering they've been doing this beer for hundreds of years, I think they have it pretty well down pat, and I think it's delicious. I don't see how Ray Bear can give this a 14 out of 100. That is so maddening to me. Like, I mean, I'm not getting mad about it. It just seems cuckoo. Um, now, maybe this is a cheap beer in Germany. But I... I don't know if it is a cheap beer or not, and whether it is, it sure tastes good, so that's what counts to me. I cannot see giving it less than an A, most excellent. So in the style and really beer overall, it's like it, it fills your whole body with enjoyment. So oh, wow, one of the really good Lager, Pilsner Lager beers from Germany. So, Les Les Bon Ton Relais, most excellent. I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans.